Hi, my name is Tracy Pepe. Thanks for joining me at The Scented Lair. Uh, for those subscribers who are back joining me, today we're talking about jasmine oil. Great oil. Um, and we're talking about an absolute. Not a fragrance, but a natural. So today we have these essential oils. The whole objective of my channel is what do you do with them when you get home with them? What are the difference of them, the price, ex explanation of diffusers, do you use them on pets? I try to give you the wealth of knowledge that I've acquired over the last 27 years in my practical skills of using essential oils. What do you do with them? So thanks for joining. For those that are new, I appreciate the subscription and uh, let's get started. So we're talking about jasmine. Jasmine oil is kind of unique because it is one of the rarest forms of um, oils that I know of it's so unique it's hard to describe it it has its own signature scent to it so there's a few things about jasmine it's not an essential oil it's actually an absolute an absolute which is um, a thick resin or um, it's it's almost pasty it's like a syrup and it's very dark in color so normally your oil um, comes in and it looks like a molasses the concentration of this, um, jasmine in particular, comes in from India. Beautiful quality. There's a variety of different flowers, obviously, with the types of jasmine. But what do you do with it? Um, the research is showing that it really is similar to the impact on the brain when it's associated to Valium. So if you look at if someone takes Valium, what happens to the brain, jasmine has the same impact. Meditationally, and there's not research on meditation and spirituality and the religious connotations associated to this particular fragrance, is been used for hundreds of um, years and it's known to help calm the mind. Now, it's an interesting world where we have faith and religion and the spirituality of essential oils because that is a huge part to this world. Um, back in Years ago, different cultures, every religion on the market uses uh, scent because of pakum, up in smoke. The belief was you would say your prayers and you would release it and the smell would take it up to the gods or to your god. And it's a really interesting historical story behind this world of perfume. So there's a lot of myth, there's a lot of folklore. There's a lot of um, information that has created an industry based on aromatherapy, what you can and can't do if, with it. And there is some truth to some of it. It's just, it's, it's me metaphysical. So what would you use the oil for? Spiritually, there's a world of essential oils because they know there's a plant and a vibration. And when something has a vibration, it speaks to humans, it speaks to the body. It speaks to us in a different way than something that's synthetic. There's a belief around that. And I've seen a lot of people who have very strong beliefs associated to the vibration of the essential oil. I'm not saying it doesn't work by any means. Um, I have been using essential oils for a very long time. They are the foundation in my home. They were part of raising my kids. Um, and if you see my TED talk, it's really about my story and my superpower on how I incorporate essential oils into the process of what I do. Now, jasmine itself is a unique oil because I use it in the bedroom specifically to help calm my head or the chaoticness that I'm feeling, specifically during COVID. So it is extremely expensive. There's no question about it. Um, it ranges, can be 60 to to $100 for a two mil bottle. Uh, it's a very, um, it's a precious oil and that's what we refer to too but it is worth every single penny. So I add maybe a drop or two of the jasmine. I mix it with things like rosewood or I add ylang ylang to it to extend it. It is, has an incredible uh, power to it. It is floral. It's known as a head oil. You know, a lot of people like it, but I would give it a try. And if you're finding your world is spinning out of control and you want to give it a go in a form of meditation or deep breathing before you go to bed, um, I, would, I would definitely try it. Maybe as I get older, I'm more sophisticated, I'm finding more things that I appeal. I don't drink cheap wine anymore and I really like refined things. And hmm, my daughter tells me it's because I'm a Taurus. Hmm, maybe so. 
but jasmine is worth every penny and i would try it it's really good for feeling of overwhelming when the mind won't shut down when you want to connect you want to connect to yourself your soul your meditation use it in a form of meditation or prayer it is an exceptional tool thanks very much for joining me my name is tracy pepe and thanks again for watching